Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I'm a little extra happy right now because last night the chocolate chip cookies that I was about to eat were really hard and um, I was kind of pissed off that I couldn't really eat them. I thought they were stale, but then my bud told me to put in a put the cookies in an airtight container with like a piece of bread and that in the morning they would be soft and lo and behold it worked so I'm not extra happy and I just ate like five cookies and now I feel like garbage but <laughs> um, it actually made me happy I guess so I was just more excited that the cookies actually became soft I didn't think that was something that was possible but this tutorial that I'm gonna go over with you is about the display management for After Effects and for like your monitor so you can figure out what is uh, displaying properly on your monitor. So under the uh, view here we've got a use display color management uh, system here and what happens is when you have that checked your operating system tells After Effects what it should use um, to like properly like calibrate your monitor and everything like that. Now I have Windows 8 and I'm using a PC so it's um, obviously Windows so the way that I'm gonna show you is gonna be on the Windows and then I'll, tr I'll tell you um, like the path for a Mac so I'll just show you really quick so you wanna bring up your control panel for Windows and um, you want to come to uh, display now where the heck is that I just had it it's probably under hardware and display and so we've got display here and I want to come down to change display settings and then advanced settings and color management and then click on color management again so now we've got our color management up here for our monitor now for a Mac the um, the way you usually get to it is let's see um, I think it's system preferences and then you go to displays and then you go to color and um, and then it'll bring up something just like this almost <clears throat> that that you can use to find your uh, color of your monitor so I've got the the uh, my display here and if I want to go to the advanced tab for Windows and it's got my device profile and the system default is the sRGB IEC 61966 so now I know that my system is on the sRGB and that's what I'm mainly looking at through um, After Effects especially when it's on like the default now you can always come down here and calibrate your display so that the colors show up a little better and you can do that on the Mac also so that's how you do uh, that and figure out what your monitor is. The um, if you have a a cheap monitor, then you're not gonna be able to see most most of the time. You're not gonna be able to see like a wide range of colors and stuff like that. So it is beneficial if you're doing a lot of work to get a nice high quality monitor. Um, you don't need to spend a zillion dollars on it because most of the time if you're working from your own computer You won't be working on like really really high profile stuff Usually you'll be going into a studio because they want to check and see how you're working and everything like that Now the reason why you want to do this is to pretty much sync up your computer monitor and your um, images and the profile that you're using in After Effects. Now all of this seems like pretty um, complex and everything like that and it actually is but it's if you're working on a project that you're getting paid like ten thousand dollars to do then you want to make sure it is correct and you want everything to be right and you don't want to mess up and hand your client something that looks like total crap on their TV or whatever they're gonna be viewing it on so this is some stuff that you need to use for advanced projects and like really high-end professional projects so if we turn this off 
we turn the use display color management off then it's not going to be communicating with our computer and it'll just load the default uh, what we've got going on um, in our project settings so if we use the uh, shift plus the uh, numpad slash that is the hotkey so that's uh, how you um, use that and how what that means and how it's related to your computer so um, that's about it that I'm going to talk about that just um, it's just keep in mind that the, using this uh, color management techniques helps you get closer to um, perfection within uh, colors so, so um, thanks for watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial we're going to talk more about some color management techniques that are a little bit different than using profiles so see you guys later at that tutorial have a good one